Welcome back. This is part three of Metal Woman Paints and Nails Mask. This is uh, what I'm working on now. I'm going to uh, color in the, the mask itself. Uh, here we go. This is the concept, but uh, just to give you a color splash of what it's going to look like. Bienvenidos a Metal Woman. Se pinta las uñas, máscara, la máscara, la, la serie parte 3. Aquí estoy empezando a ponerle un poco de color al dibujo. By the way, this ain't going to be the final, but this is uh, good for seeing what it's going to look like because I have to digitize this, and that's probably going to be the, the final part here. Pull away so you can see better. By the way, the figure is right there. <laughs> it's cool to be able to draw something and have the figure of the thing right there. Of the Metal Woman character. In the final one, uh, I do change a couple of small details on this, by the way, but the overall aesthetic and look for it stays the same. Like in the final uh, drawing version, this is going to be a little pulled out here. And, uh, well, you'll see in a little feature video. But I did want to do this one. And yeah, I'm old school, so when I draw something, I put my hand here, a piece of paper here, so as not to uh, blur the marker line or things like that, and try and make it as clean as possible. It'll never be perfect, but the cleaner it is, the better it looks. See? I know there's some shadow and stuff happening, but that's what it's starting to look like. And if I haven't mentioned it in other videos, this is uh, this is part three of part of six parts, and today is November twenty seventh, twenty eighteen.
See, as you can see there, this is a different marker, it's a different shade. I just wanted to make sure you guys could see that. Como pueden ver, ya estoy poniéndole más detalle. Le estoy poniendo color a, a la máscara esta de que estoy diseñando. La última versión será digitada y tendré que limpiarla un poquito en la computadora, pero eso es como cualquier otra cosa. Since I'm holding the camera and and coloring at the same time, sometimes the paper moves, but it's all good. There, get my finger out of your way, get my hand out of your way. But, See, it is me doing the actual drawing of it. So, just so you guys uh, aren't sure, I like to be an honest artist. I'm drawing on a board, make it evener, make it look cleaner. By the way, this is one of the things that it's so cool about being an independent artist that you can create your own stuff and create your own content like this. And people can see it, you know. And thanks to everybody who's subscribing on YouTube, Facebook, all of those, the social media platforms, those that reach out through the main site of MascaraFighters.com and help the series grow because brand awareness and stuff like that is super important. 
And yes, that was a cap falling on the floor. Which I will pick up later. this to give it a little highlight hopefully you can see it I can fix some of the the wrong lines I made here coincidentally this part is actually black so the color doesn't, it helps me actually. This is also, see, this is good for a lot of reasons. Like, you could see there are mistakes because nothing's perfect. Like, the arm is a little too big, but in the final version, it won't be. But it does give me an eyeball of, okay, the shoulder has to be here. Her hand has to be moving here and stuff. Or not moving, but give the illusion because in animation, everything's an illusion anyway, so... Making, creating the illusion that it's moving. Even though it's not, because they're optical illusions. Now the main of the body is done. I still have other pieces to, to color in, but the main, main thing here is, is kind of already coming into shape. See, the color is starting to pop now. And before I let you guys go, let me show you what the color of the background is going to be. I went with hot pink, and that's the color I'm going to end up uh, using. And more soon. Thanks.